Hello, BookTube. I'm back for another bookcase tour. This one, we'll do another shelf today. Uh, a minor squabble ensued about the last one. I was, I was reprimanded. <laughs> I was told, dude, you were just like totally sick. What were you doing about a stepladder? Uh, and <laughs> I responded, well, you know, it wasn't a very big deal. It wasn't exactly the gates at Thermopylae. Uh, and the response I got was, what? And then I said, this is Sparta. And that's all it took. <laughs> Might not know anything about ancient history, but like every other teenage boy has the movie 300 memorized. <laughs> so I'm firmly planted on two feet on the ground today for this one. And I thought we'd do the next bookshelf, starting with the transverse books to get them out of the way. One is one you've seen on uh, uh, Olive, a book Olive's channel before. This is... Uh, Edvard Redzinski's book, The Last Tsar, about Nicholas II. Uh, I really, really like it. So, uh, as a portrait of a doomed man who's still kind of decent. Uh, and then the next transverse one is something we've seen on this channel before. It's uh, Is That Kafka by Reiner Stock. It's sort of a disjective member of the, the little bits and pieces that you encounter if you, if you write it you know, a 4,000 page biography of Kafka. You will get little bits and pieces. Uh, things like the life story of the other Franz Kafka who lived in the city at the same time, that sort of thing. Uh, not really a biography, so again, not really sure what it's doing here. Uh, but then we have this. This is an old volume. Uh, the Letters of Young Philip Sidney. I, the, the book is in terrible shape because it actually survived a house fire. <laughs> One of the only books I have that survived a house fire. And it was, it's, a, it's a trove of letters from the young Philip Sidney that were discovered, and this writer just milks them for all they're worth. Uh, oh, we have sirens. Now, the question here at Hyde Cottage is, is that going to be the first and only, or is that going to be the first of 300 sirens? <sighs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, the next one is a nice old biography of uh, Lady Jane Grey. This is the Nine Days Queen. Uh, when did this come out? This is, uh, oh God, probably a hundred years old. Uh, this is a problem with having only one hand to do these things. It's by Richard Davey. Yeah, it came out in 1909, so it's a little over a hundred years old. And then keeping on the theme of British history, British royal biography, I think we're going to get a lot of those on this shelf. This is Scarisbrook's Henry VIII in the Yale paperback. Uh, is this yellow? Well, no, this is Methuen, but it's this is the UK edition. But uh, so, uh, yet another Henry VIII biography, but a really, really good one. Uh, and then we have King Edward the Seventh. <laughs> this is Sir Sidney Lee's. Sir Sidney Lee did a two-volume biography of King Edward the Seventh. It was the first major biography of King Edward the Seventh. It's been totally surpassed. Of course, there were a hundred million things that that Sidney Lee didn't know, and a hundred other million things that he couldn't say, even though he did know them. Uh, this is not the biography that you would want, but it's so elegantly, mandarinly written. I just love it. <laughs> uh, then we have Linda Porter. This is her book. This is Catherine the Queen. Her biography of uh, Catherine Parr, who's my favorite of King Henry's wives. Uh, this is the UK paperback. Uh, then next we have a runaway sex sensation in, in terms of uh, British biography. This is Georgiana, Duke Duchess of Devonshire by Amanda Porter that, that caught on through good timing in a way, with, with propinquity with the death of Princess Diana. Uh, but it, it's a humdinger of a read on its own. Uh, and this one has the, uh, the French flaps and the decalage. Looks like you might have a pylon going. <laughs> Anywho, let's carry on. <laughs> the next one is fairly modern. It's A Great and Terrible King by Mark Morris, whose name I've mentioned on this channel before. Uh, this is a biography of King Edward I. I liked it a lot. The only thing I don't like about it is how short it is. Edward I is a, a massively important king, and we have a ton of information about him, so this should be three times as long. I understand why it can't be a modern biography like this. You're going to be shy of doing that. Uh, 
So this is really, I mean, I liked it. It's it's good, but it's only a notch or two above serviceable. I'm waiting for a great Edward I biography, and then this one will go. Uh, same thing with this. This is also Mark Morris, and this is his biography of King John Lackland. <laughs> uh, no idea who that uh, sepulchral bearded guy on the cover is supposed to be, but uh, this also was really good. In fact, it may be the best John biography that I've ever read, uh, and I've read them all. Uh, it just, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It lacked a certain something, a, a certain je ne sais quoi. I don't, I don't know what, but maybe nothing. Maybe that's just me. Uh, and then we have a book, again, not strictly a biography, but close. This is uh, a classic in its own right. This is King George and the Mad Business about King George's illness, about the illness that, that drove him from the throne and blighted the, the last part of his life. Uh, you get all of his biography in it, but uh, it technically really shouldn't be here. Then this, Beloved in God, uh, this is by Royston Lambert, and it's about uh, the Roman Emperor Hadrian and the, the uh, muscular teenager with whom he fell in love, Antinous, uh, and who didn't quite love him back, <laughs> so, so, and killed himself. Uh, and this is a, a beautiful dual study of the two of them. And then we have to, have to move my, uh, my red dragon from Wales, uh, and we go on to uh, Byron. Byron, a portrait. This is by Leslie Marchand, and this is his, uh, he did a multi-volume work on Byron, and he did a ton of other work on Byron as well, life work on Byron. This is his one volume, and it's got all the sparkle and verve of, of the multi-volume. Uh, then we hit a block of uh, Windsor history. In fact, the same Windsor. <laughs> we have uh, Elizabeth Longford's biography of uh, Queen Elizabeth II the Queen, then uh, Robert Lacey's biography of Queen Elizabeth II and Majesty, and then Sarah Bradford's biography of Queen Elizabeth II, Elizabeth. And they go in, uh, in ascending order of, of uh, insider knowledge. Uh, Robert Lacey, of course, has none, and Sarah Bradford is a, a dutiful royal watcher, but an outsider, and then Lady Elizabeth Longford is part of the court. Uh, and the three of them together, it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know that there are many people <laughs> who are Elizabeth II completists, Windsor completists like I am, but reading them together really gives a fantastically interesting portrait, a, co a composite portrait of this woman who is essentially unknowable. She doesn't grant interviews. Uh, I had once upon a time six others. <laughs> I figured I need these three. I don't need any others until she's dead. Uh, and then this, this is also not really a biography. Don't know what it's doing here. This is Ungentle Shakespeare. This is by... Uh, Catherine Duncan Jones, and this also survived the fire, and it's, uh, it's just a, in fact, let's put this away. It's a, it's a, a really energetic study of Shakespeare's life and times, uh, not, not purporting really to be a biography, but still. And then we have this. This is also Elizabeth Longford. This is the Royal House of Windsor. Uh, her study of, uh, again, not really a biography. <laughs> All right, well, we're clearing space anyway. Her study of uh, the whole soup to nuts pageantry, the thing that I covered. In, at Open Letters on my thing, A Year with the Windsors. Uh, and then last one is this, J.B. Priestley, the great old novelist who's now forgotten, did a book about William IV uh, called The Prince of Pleasure. This is, oh, this is mainly about when he was Prince Regent, uh, overseeing the Regency era, of which I am so fond. <laughs> uh, and that is uh, it. That is the next bookshelf. You, want, you all wanted to see it. I don't know. If, can we see it? There is the bookshelf. Uh, I don't know if that came out. I can't really see what I'm showing you. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll sign off for now, and we'll go on to another bookshelf next time. <laughs> Thank you for two.